Hello, in this episode of To The Point Code, we'll be looking at how to add a custom app icon and also a splash screen to our Expo React Native app. This is the third part of our Creating a To-Do App series. So what is an app icon? An app icon is the image that we use to represent an application. We usually click on this image to launch the application. So when you look at the emulator we have over here, this image we are seeing is an app icon since it has been used to represent the browser. So what about the splash screen? The splash screen is the image that shows while our application is preparing to launch. So while our splash screen is showing, our application does whatever it needs to run successfully, such as fetching for external data and others. Now let's launch our to-do app and see the splash screen and icon. Now while our app is preparing to launch, this currently display screen is what we call the splash screen. So this screen will stay on until all the files needed to run the application successfully are available. Once the app has loaded and we go to the recent tab, we see an image at the top. This is the app icon. Now in our project, when can we find these images? In our code editor, we go to the assets directory. In the asset directory, we see that we have four image files. The first one is adaptive icon. So the adaptive icon is needed when you are building the app for Android. It is used as a foreground. Therefore, it can be equal to our actual icon but without the background. Now the second image is the fav icon. This is needed when you are building the application for the web, which we are not doing now, so we are not going to use it. Now the third one is the icon. This is the complete icon that will be used to represent your application. It has the foreground and the background as well. This is what you need when you are building for iOS, but we need it for the Android as well. Now the splash is the screen which is displayed when our application is being loaded. And we can see that it is equal to what was displayed when our application was loading. As we can see, this has a transparent background, but we can also choose to use an image with a background. Now how do we get the correct app icon and splash screen? Let's visit the Expo documentation. Now on the Expo app icons page, our takeaway is that whatever change you want to make will be in the app.json file. Now for the design of our icon, it has been stated that 1024 by 1024 is a good size for our app icon. This is the case for the Android as well. So we can create an icon which is 1024 by 1024 and use it for both Android and iOS. Now what about the splash screen? Now for the splash screen, our takeaway is that the image should be 1242 by 2436 pixels. So it should be 1242 pixels wide and 2436 pixels tall. So for the app icon and the splash screen, all that matters is the size. You can use any app of your preference to create the images. Now let's go back to our code editor. In this folder that I have here, I created a few files for our app. First of all, I created a splash screen. Now looking at the dimensions of our image, we see that it's 1242 by 2436, which matches exactly what Expo requires. Now this is our icon. Also checking the dimensions of our image, we see that it's 1024 by 1024, which once again matches the dimension that Expo requires. Now for our adaptive icon, it is just equal to the icon but without the background and once again it is also 1024 by 1024. Now all we need to do is to get these files in our assets directory and make changes in our app.json file. 
So I'll copy these files into the asset directory. So to the names of the images, I added one. This will ensure that the Expo app can refresh easily and not use the already cached files. Now let's go to our app.json file. Now from the top, we go to the icon section. Under the icon key, we change the image to icon1.png. Also for the splash, we change the path of the image to splash1.png. We don't want the background color to be white. So we go ahead to clear it and copy our background color from our appstyles.js file. The background color is very necessary if you have a splash image with a transparent background. Now for the Android key, we will change the path as well. We will change the adaptive icon to icon 1. And this is for the foreground image. I will change the background color as well. For the web session, we will leave it like that since we are not building for the web. Now we can go ahead to save and refresh our application. Now while our app is loading, we see that we have a new splash image, which is what we just added. So this image will be displayed while our application fetches all the data and files that it will need to run successfully. We see that our icon is being displayed here. Now back to the Expo app, let's run our application once again. Running it once again, we see that our splash screen is still showing. Once our splash screen is working, we can go ahead to delete the unused files. So that's all for this episode. In this episode, we've learned how to create a custom splash screen and also add an app icon to our Expo application. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so already, and I'll see you in the next episode.